Hello everyone, uh, in this video I will install the shower drain that is used with the rubber pen liner on the concrete floor. Uh, this is a very large shower to measure 5 by 9 feet. First thing that I'll have to do is to remove that concrete that surrounds that pipe. In order to remove the concrete you have to use some kind of chipping hammer. I use the DeWalt 60 volt cordless SDS Max hammer drill. That does the great job, especially in the basement where there is no working power outlet. Now I have access to it so I can measure and cut the pipe. All right, I'm using a standard uh, shower drain that you can get from Home Depot. This just fits two inch pipe. It's made by uh, O3 and the part number is 42310. The bottom part measures two inches and a three quarter. And the inside part is uh, seven eighth of an inch. All right, first thing what you want to do, you want to mark the pipe all around so you can cut it flush with the floor. I use a dual multi tool to cut the pipe that gives me a cleanest and most even cut around it. It works in most applications where you have the pretty good access. A lot of time you have to use it like a little sozo or other sources. Alright, once I cut the pipe I have to make sure that the P trap still holds water because if it was damaged it would be dry. Alright, the bottom part has uh, two inches and three quarters. So uh, if you pretty comfortable with your cutting, you can measure just two inches below. But I measured one inch three quarters, so in case something goes wrong, I have some room to correct it. Because like you're not always able to cut that pipe perfectly straight. So like you want to always have some room uh, to correct it. I use a little adapter for for, for a drill. It's basic like little uh, uh, tool that you, that you can just get online and I'll try to have the link, link below in case you need it. All right, once you cut the pipe, just clean up any debris around it, and then you can dry fit your drain. Mine does sit like half an inch above it, so I'll still have room to uh, cut it down a little bit. One thing is that when you're dry fitting it, it's not always gonna go all the way down. So like once you have the glue on it, most likely you're always gonna be able to push that drain at another further. Right, the most important thing when you install your shower drain is to you gotta make sure you, you got everything perfectly level and i mean in both directions it has to be nice and level otherwise you're gonna have some problems when you're actually building your shower pan because your drain is gonna be off so you want to make sure that base is, is just perfectly level Once you dry fit it, everything and everything looks good, you can uh, actually apply the primer. I use a pulpo primer and then I use a clear heavy duty PVC glue.
uh, once you have the glue on, on on the pipe and the drain, you can just slide it on. So first thing you have to make sure you have to keep the drain nice and level. So that's the, the most important part. And then you don't want to drop it too low because uh, when you have a glue on, on the pipe and the drain, you can slide it a lot further versus when you dry fit it. So you always have to make sure you don't push it too low. Once your drain is uh, nice and dry, you want to make sure it's dry on the inside. You can use just a two and drain plug. So we're going to pack the concrete all around it. So you want to make sure your drain is covered so that, that way nothing falls in, in there. Yeah, I use a regular sand topping concrete. I just mix it um, almost dry so it's easy to pack it. So it's like dry enough so it sticks together but it's not like you don't see a whole lot of water coming out of it. And you just won't basically pack the concrete all around it. Try to pack it as much as you can and then uh, use some kind of tool just to basically compact it around and you know, push it all around. I, the biggest problem that I had with this drain was that the plumbers when they installed the feed trap and the, the, the plumbing for the shower, so they haven't installed that pipe at the perfect level. So it was like a little bit off we always had to make sure you try to straighten it out with the drain but it's, it's not always that easy so that way you try to pack the concrete as much as you can on the one side just to kind of push that pipe a little bit to make sure it stays in perfect level and then you always gotta make sure you keep that level so you have to have that little level handy because you can always push that drain a tiny bit and then you won't even notice now but later might be a problem yeah this is the biggest and most common problem that you're running into uh, when you're doing the showers like that most of those drain pipes they install off and there's a lot of problems to actually get that drain in perfect level yeah in some cases it's so bad I just have to cut off the feed trap and reinstall it again If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe, and then uh, come back for a future video in the future. Thank you.